Mother Smile is where y'all. Y'all, today is my church's plate sale. So I am going to be cooking cake, y'all, while I'm talking to you. Y'all, y'all already know how y'all gets down, gets down. It's going to be an awesome day today, y'all. I'm going to take y'all along with me. And I got to make some deliveries, too, as well. To different people for our plate sale. And right now, y'all, I'm about to cut the cake. I'm about to show y'all in a minute. I'm cleaning off my camera here. Was it clean? You got to make sure you get everything clean. Before you cut anything, or you do anything, you got to make sure that your counter is clean. I like to be clean, y'all. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it at all. Alright y'all. Okay, let me see. Y'all is the cake. Y'all, there go the cake right there, y'all. Do y'all see that cake? Delicioso. Delicious is the um honey bun cream cake. That's the one that's the first one. I remember where I put them. Come on, y'all. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, my loves. Mayday, mayday, mayday. I fell over, y'all. I say, y'all. I thought I had left the bags in the car. I'm like, uh-uh. I'm going to have to go and give me some bags. Y'all, I'm using this, these double zipper kind of bags. So, I'm going to see how this goes. All right, y'all. I'm starting to um, open it up and cut the cake. Y'all, my week has been, like, fantastic. Like, we went, I went to, um, Meals on Wheels, you know, uh, where you deliver food to the elderly. We have something in our um, area. It's called Meals on Wheels. And that's where you deliver food to the elderly. You have like a route. And you have about six, maybe like six homes that you do. And you um, deliver food to the elderly or the ones that aren't able to get out and get food for themselves. It was a blessing, y'all. I really enjoyed, like, to see the residents smile. And they they were ready, y'all. They was on point. You hear me? You, I did, We didn't have to knock on no door. They had them doors open and ready. They had them doors open and ready. You hear me? I said, look at them. I said, they is on point. Oh, they is ready. Freddy, they ain't playing no game. You hear me? They not playing nobody game. They said, they food. They said, uh-uh. Y'all ain't gonna pass my house by. I say, I'm not here. Yeah, that was that was awesome. These how the baggies look, y'all, for the for the cake. But I said, look at that. I said that is a blessing, just to bless somebody else, you know. And some of them elderly people I know, probably, you know, maybe they have family members that that work and they're not able to, you know, get to them maybe, you know, or get them food because of their work schedule because they're busy. But I'm happy for organizations like that 
that <clears throat> cater to the elderly. And the houses were really like close together. They were like in a circle. So it wasn't that far that you had to go from one destination to another because the routes were like close, close and proximity to one another. So that was a good thing. Oh, that, you know, so you won't have far to get lost and stuff. And the lady was like, she, um, she, uh, they're always, at, you know, needing help and everything. That was pretty cool. It was real cool. And like, my mom. She does rest home ministry where like she ministers, like they minister to the elderly and they bring them gifts like on Christmas and Thanksgiving. They do something special for them and they just spend time with them. I know back when I was a young girl, my church, we used to um, go in, we used to sing on Christmas, we used to sing to the elderly on Christmas and we had them to their rooms and talk to them. Just have a good old time, you know. Just have a good old time. Because sometimes the other, they get forgotten, you know. The little ones, they forget about, they go on with their lives, but they forget about the ones that are in the rest of them. And know some people they don't even have family members that come visit them and sit with them and talk to them. Cause all they want to do, all they want to do is talk. That's all they want to do. Somebody sit with them and talk to them and ask them how the day went. Just be in their presence, you know. That's all they want. That is all they want. Y'all, it's coming along good, y'all. It's coming along. Come, come, coming along. But yeah, that's all. And y'all should see when we come through with the socks and stuff for Christmas. And they be so excited. It be like, you ever, well, you ever seen those people that win those million dollar um, checks? From the clearing house, and they be all happy, crying and shocked, and all at the about the, they be shot, <laughs> and they be so happy, crying. That's how, that's how the residents be when we bring those. So it, it be just like money to them. We we'll bring gifts like socks and tissue, deodorant, you know, stuff that they can use. That they may run out of. It's a bliss. It's a blessing to be a blessing to somebody else because you get blessed right along. You get blessed to just blessing somebody else. If you don't feel no type of way, if you don't, you know what I'm saying. If you don't go out your way to bless somebody, it's it's like you become. It's like you. This selfish, not wanting to help nobody. Not the want to give back, you know. I don't mind giving back. My show don't, cause somebody helped me along the way. So I don't mind. At my church, we do like um, we do yard sales. Like we give away free clothes. We don't charge, and we give away free clothes, um, shoes. We even had one um one time we did our um our yard sale and giving away items. We had this young lady and she looked like she was about eight, nine months. And she was looking for a car seat and a um stroller. And there it was there it was, we had both of the items for her. and she was just as happy and thankful. We get those items. And we also give away food too when we do our yard sales. Free yard sales for free. You know, 
Because you don't even know what a person might be going through. That might be their food. That might be their food for that day, that whole day. I remember one girl, she said, I'm hungry. She said, I haven't eaten all day. And she said, this food is right on time. I said, look at them. I said, look at God. Sometimes God puts stuff in your heart to do. It's for a reason. It's for a cause. You know, y'all? Because somebody is in need. Somebody is of need. You hear me? Somebody is in need. It's always somebody. Sometimes a person might look like they all together. And they might have everything put together and just so. But no, y'all. A person can be in need. You not even, they can be under your nose. And you not even know. Because people put on a good poker face. But they be in need. They be in need. But they just don't say nothing. But they be in need. So it's good to give back it is good y'all let me know below what y'all do in your town um to give back to the community because i like to hear stuff like these different ideas and things i like to hear it I'm packing up these cakes. I said it's got time to because I think we're gonna head over there. Probably around nine. About nine, nine thirty. Yeah, I'm just packing it. Oh I mean these zip lock bags save time. But with that saran wrap, it probably would have took me a minute holding that such. I'm good, y'all. That is some good cake. I'm trying not to hurt myself, y'all. I'm trying to be good. I'm trying not to hurt myself. I'm almost through. And I'm putting it, I'm putting it in this, y'all, in the, in the top of the, I use like the cake topper to put the cakes in. Yeah, the pastor, our pastor, what she says, not to do them too big or too small. So I'm doing like, you know, a good size piece. Medium size piece. There we go. I'm doing a little taste test. A little taste test. Y'all. Yeah. I tell you, this cake is giving me life. It's giving me life. It's giving me life, boobs. Mmm. That was good.
Y'all, I'm gonna clean up my counter so I can get ready for the second, for the second take. Yeah, we're doing a um a plate sale um for our building fund. We're trying to get a new church. So we're gonna see how that goes. Yeah, but we've been doing good so far, y'all. God has been blessing us been giving us favor and people just showing love that's all it's about showing love supporting one another you know i support you you support me that's how we do it we're trying to get our church and we will because god get said in his way you you ask not Ask not. You gotta ask for what you want. You ask, you have not, cause you ask not. I would. I would. That was a good book, sir. You have not, cause you ask not. So you got to. You got to. Um, You got to ask, y'all. You got to ask. And it will be given unto you when you ask. Not sure if I'm too keen on this lemon cake. My clay buzz ain't agreeing with me. I don't know if it's the lemon or what. It might be the lemon. But, um, yeah, 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 you gotta ask. And you shall receive once you ask. God said he will not hold anything good. Anything good he won't withhold from you. Cutting up this cake, y'all. It's, it's going smooth as butter. That's how I like it. Smooth as butter. Mm. 
Yes, ma'am. I need to be trimming my bushes. I was going to get it earlier this morning to trim my bushes, but then I was like, I don't want to tie my stuff out. We're going to be doing plates and stuff. And I don't want to tie myself out too bad. So I said, nah. time or maybe later in the day I may get out there and do my thing I want the sun go down because I think it's supposed to rain the other day to so be honest where I'm at so we'll see how that goes Cause I'm not really an outside person. I don't deal with the bees and the flies and the, and the ants. So. Mm -mm. I don't do well with that kind of, you know, stuff. And the ants and stuff. Mm -mm. That's not my juice. That's not my thing. But I will get down and dirty. But that's not my thing. But you know, feel what I'm saying? That is not my thing. Not my thing. Hey, hey. Nope. I slept good last night, y'all. I slept real good. It was so peaceful in that bed. Just listen to my Pandora. I went right on to sleep. It just soothes you, you know what I'm saying? There we go. I'm almost done. Got about, I think about three more slices. It was about three more slices. Four. Maybe four more slices. My friend gave me this idea of putting Kate in Ziploc black in Ziploc bags. She is the queen bee. She's so smart. She said, Christian, don't be putting all that cake in it. That, that uh that uh Reynolds wrap stuff. So that'll take you all night. Ain't nobody got time for that, girl. Ain't nobody got time for that. You better put it in that Ziploc bag and get it on. And that's what I did. That is exactly what I did, y'all. But y'all, I'm gonna finish up this cake, and I'll be back, y'all. I got y'all know I gotta give you the word for today, so I'll be back. Y'all, we up in here, y'all. We we delivering plates. Got one more plate to go, y'all. Say hey, ma. Yeah, I'm looking like a hot mess. I know. <laughs> yeah, she is, ma. It was it, it, it was hot. You know, it's raining and it, it was hot, hot in the house and the kitchen. Yeah, so well. it's we just you know, you know what to do, y'all. Y'all already know we try to make it do what it do and handle business. We <laughs> were about it. But y'all, <laughs> really everybody was happy to get their plates. They said it was delicious. They enjoyed. They just, ooh, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all my plate later, cause I got a plate too to help with the church. You know, with the benefit. But y'all, y'all stay tuned.
Y'all stay tuned. I went to deliver a plate to one of my co-workers. <laughs> oh, and his roommate was there. His roommate was looking through the blind and did not open the door. So I said, what's up, partner? Why your roommate ain't opening the door for me and I'm delivering the plate? He said, he don't open the door to people he don't know or not used to. I said, he a man. Why he, he ain't open the door? They kill men too. They kill men too? Not do women. But I'm like, I'm a, I'm a short woman. He what am I going to do? And I got a plate. He if I like, talk to you through the door and just hand you the plate through the door, that man ain't taking no chance. He ain't taking no chance of weed. And I don't blame him. <laughs> you, don't, you don't blame him. No I don't blame him. <laughs> Some more foolishness in the world. Maybe Some they got him scared. Man. What in the way? I see. Okay, be looking for a large. Okay. I said, why? You ain't open the door and it's raining. Launch, launch, launch. Y'all stay with us. Y'all stay with us. Bless us. Yeah, that is cute. I you like that smart. With the blue in it. Oh yeah, look at my mama. She getting her smart for her patient, y'all. <laughs> she be doing her thing, y'all. So, yeah, I just bear with her. But she does her thing right regular. You know what I'm saying? That's how she do. Ain't it right, mom? <laughs> she said she ain't seen me, y'all. But they have all different kinds of stuff, y'all. They got shirts. It's called roses. It's still called roses. If you have one in your area, you know what I'm talking about. Stuff is cheap, about five dollars, four dollars. Some, some people don't have a roses, Ma, at that location. Not everybody have uh, roses they, now. They don't have it. They hear of it. Yeah, or hear. Yeah, if you if you ain't had one, you know you hear about it. What? They got pants, like for nurses and stuff. CNAs. What else? But my mom, she be shopping, y'all. She try, you know, she got a good heart and she trying to do what she do for people, you know, for her patients and stuff. She trying to be cute a little bit, but, you know, I got it. Y'all, we at Roses now. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was hot. It probably because the fan, it because the fan in the oven was on. Mm, so the oven, oven. Yeah, the fan in the oven on. This way. Hey, hey, hey. I said I can't I said I can't go in there in that in that button. It was hot. I said all in there all in the way. I ain't wanna be in the way. Yeah, I ain't wanna be in the way. So I said I am I went where my sharing then was I ain't wanna be in the way. You said you want to go on back? No, and it keeps like small. Yeah. Too much stuff on them. Oh. Yeah, we getting on my mama patient a smock. I'm going to show y'all what a smock is like this. Mm -hmm. Hold on, y'all. I got a text. Be with me. Y'all, I'm back. Y'all, I'm home, relaxing, watching TV, chilling. Y'all, today was an awesome day. You hear me? I just was happy. Like, our church, we sold over 100 plates. So, I'm just grateful to God. He blessed this plate sale. He know that we're trying to accomplish this goal. We're trying to reach, you know, a certain amount so that we can build our church. I mean, God, when God is in the middle of something, can't no man stop, can't no devil, can't no enemy stop what God has predestined to be. And y'all, I just feel, I feel so awesome. You know, I just feel good. Y'all yeah, eating a Klondike bar. This is my favorite. Klondike bars are the best ever in life. They are the best. They are the truth. But yeah, y'all, I just, when I would deliver my plates, y'all, to everybody, everybody was so thankful. Most of my co-workers, they were just so grateful. They just helped me. They just encouraged me. And they was, it, everybody just was there. Everybody delivered everybody plates on time to everybody. 
um, I pray and hope that everybody enjoyed them. Because I sure did enjoy mine. I said that eight miles. And it just touched my heart. Like, at work, I called different ones my brothers. And my brother, he said, I asked him to buy a plate. He said, Christian, I'll buy a plate from you. That ain't no problem. You know that. And he even gave me a donation. And my other coworker did too for my church. And so he even gave me a donation and said, Christian, I want you to bless somebody uh, that worked with us. I want you to bless them with a plate. And when I tell you I brought the person the plate, they just was crying. They literally was crying. They were so grateful that someone thought enough about them to buy them a plate. And they were just so thankful, so gracious. They were just, you know, they were just, you know, just so thankful. And you could tell the person on the person face when I delivered the plate that they were just so grateful for what I had brought them. And that somebody thought out of everything, out of their busy day, out of everything that be going on in our minds, that they... Did somebody thought about her, little old her. I said, boo. I said, what I tell you, we in it to win it. We are blessed people, and we are in it to win it. Don't ever, ever think that you ain't winning when you just feel depressed and you feel, feel bad and you feel like don't nobody care. People care. And somebody out of that cares. Genuinely care. Not that fake stuff. Not that purpose trading stuff. But somebody really care about you. Sometimes God will place people in your path. A place you on their heart. And they give unto your bosom. In the word it says men will give unto your bosom. You ain't got to want for nothing. Because men will give to your bosom. They will give unto you. You All you got to do is be a blessing to others. Just be a blessing to somebody. It ain't about oneself all the time, y'all. We got to get out of that. It's not about oneself. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's not about... It's not about the bundles you buy to put in your head. It's not about the sunglasses. It ain't about the cars, the new cars, the new houses. It's not about that. But when God get the glory, it's all about God. When God get the glory and you put him in it, hey, that, that, that's a recipe. That's a recipe for winning. That's winning recipe right there. Your harvest season has been here. The harvest season is here. The harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. The laborers are few. Cause I know I know y'all. I'm not perfect. I ain't the one to talk. I'm not perfect, y'all. I'm striving to be a better me each and every day. I can't tell nobody what to do. I'm just trying to live the best life I can. I'm trying to do right. Yeah. I'm trying to do right. I might fall by the wayside sometime, but, and I got flaws on top of flaws, and some things about me need to be worked on, but I try to do, I try to treat people with respect, and I try to give respect so I can receive respect. I try to treat everybody like I would want to be treated. I don't think of nobody greater than nobody. I don't think of nobody uh, beneath Nobody, you know, I say Mr. and Mrs. It's just a sudden, it's just the sudden way. It's not that I think somebody that's superior to me or above me. It's just that that's just what I've been taught. And respect your elders. You say Mr. and Mrs. Respect people older than you. Oh, huh. Mm. Now they call that bar with good. I might give me another one. Mm, 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 mm. I might give me another one, y'all, in a minute. 
I'm trying not to be greedy. But y'all, it was just a blessing. It was just a blessing, you know? And sometimes I hate to, you know, sometimes ask, like, people, you know, especially with places and stuff, because sometimes people don't support you. You support other people, but sometimes other people, sometimes they don't support you and what you doing, or you have to be, you have to be a, you know what I'm saying, uh, a certain person for somebody to support what you doing, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate everybody that supported me. I appreciate it, all the love, all the donations. I just appreciate people because it, it could not be so, you know? For someone to think enough of me just to help me out. Just to, you know, just to sow a seed and plant a seed. God is good, y'all. You be faithful over a few things, God will make it rule over many, y'all. You just have to have faith. You just have to have faith and just believe in what you're doing and have people support you in what you're doing. If you ain't got no support, if you ain't got no support, it's going to crumble. The plan going to crumble, y'all. Y'all think I'm losing weight or something, y'all? What y'all think? Y'all think I'm losing weight? I've been trying to, you know, eat right and stuff. Y'all think so? I think I might be getting slim and try. I might be losing a little bit of weight, you know. I don't try to lose too much, but, you know, lose a little bit. I think I'm making it do what it do. But anyway, I ain't losing no weight eating that ice cream, though. But that ice cream show sure was good. But, y'all, I just want to leave y'all with that. I just be a blessing to somebody. Be a blessing. If you don't do nothing else. Don't think about yourself. Think about somebody else that's next to you, next door to you, or your neighbor. Or if you see somebody at work they ain't looking too right, they might need a, a word. They might need somebody to say a good word to them. They might need somebody to say, you're doing an awesome job. You keep up the good work. Keep pushing. Keep moving. Give somebody an encouragement because people need encouragement. And you don't get that encouragement. People don't get encouragement every day. Sometimes a person just need need that push, you know, for them to go on to the next level. But y'all, I ain't gonna sit here and talk y'all to death because y'all know I can. I'm just, I am just in awe in what God has done in my life and the people that I'm, uh, you know, and the people that I'm associated with and, and the people that that I come across. God is just a blessing. He's just blessing y'all. He's still in the blessing business. People say he ain't blessed. God is still in the blessing business. He may not come when you want him, y'all. But he right on time. He will be there. Even in the midst. He'll be there when you're down. He'll be there when you're depressed. He'll be there when you're happy. In your joyous occasions. He'll be there in the sad moment. He'll always be there. If you just listen. You just be quiet and listen. God, he'll make his he'll make his voice known. He'll make his presence known. You just have to sit and be quiet sometimes. But y'all have a blessed and wonderful Saturday, y'all. I just want to drop that video, y'all. I just want to drop this video down for y'all. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe, y'all, down below. If you love my content, you want to see more, y'all, y'all hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell, y'all, and you'll get notifications when I um, have a video when it comes up, when I upload a new video each time. But y'all, I'm just me. Smiley. Smiley, boo. A.K.A. Cree. I'm just me. I ain't, I can't be nobody else but me, y'all. Y'all know, gotta either love me or hate me. You can't be in between. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, y'all be blessed, all right? I'm out. Deuces.